One major point of contention among drivers after the Russian Grand Prix was the way track limits were being dealt with, especially around Turn 2. After Mugello, many drivers were in favour of having gravel traps around every corner. Turn 2 at Sochi does not have gravel traps and it led to many incidents including McLaren driver Carlos Sainz's crash and penalties for Renault's Daniel Ricciardo and Red Bull's Alex Albon. F1's managing director Ross Braun has now addressed the difficulties associated with such corners and track limits. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, damned if you do, damned if you don't, challenges of policing track limits. Braun began by assuring that the Turn 2 incidents will be scrutinised closely. There were some contentious parts of the circuit this weekend, and I know the FIA are very objective and constructive in how they view these things. I'm sure they will be taking a look at the incidents in Turn 2 to see if there is a better solution. He then explained why gravel traps are not the perfect solution. There is a constant battle to stop drivers abusing track limits. You don't abuse track limits if you end up in the gravel. They do if it's asphalt. But if you have gravel everywhere, it gets thrown on the track and you lose cars if they go off, which we don't want to do. He then highlighted the challenges of implementing a runoff area solution without any flaws. So you are damned if you do, damned if you don't. Predominantly, asphalt is the better solution, but we have to have track limits to make sure drivers don't abuse asphalt runoff. He signed off by explaining how corners like Turn 2 at Sochi can make the drivers race harder. If you go into a corner knowing the worst thing that will happen is you'll run over asphalt and rejoin, you will commit more to the corner. I'm sure the FIA and FIA F1 race director Michael Massey will look at turn 2 to see if there is a better solution. Fast feed Mercedes Valtteri Bottas has stated that if he had that mindset of giving up, he would never have had a chance in his career, which is why he won't give up. Former F1 driver Mika Salo, who was a steward for the Russian Grand Prix, has refuted claims that he had shared information about Hamilton's penalties with Finnish TV channel Seymour before the ruling had become official. He further added that it doesn't make any sense and that you can write anything on the internet. Seymour's TV commentator Nicky Usala, who made the announcement that Hamilton would receive the penalty, stated that he had a well-informed insider, but it's not Mika Salo. Williams' George Russell feels that Turn 2 at Sochi is one of the worst corners of the calendar, and that for racing it is a terrible design. He also feels they have the room and the space to create almost a Bahrain-style Turn 1 and 2 going into a kink, which will allow drivers to lunge one another into Turn 1 to get better racing and also avoid people having to cut the track. McLaren's Carlos Sainz added to that by saying that he doesn't think the turn is very well designed either, you force drivers to drive very strange lines near a wall. Red Bull's Max Verstappen, who started on the dirty side of the track in Russia, had no grip at the start, and at first he thought he had a technical problem. However, he was reassured when he saw in the rearview mirror that the whole right side got away badly. Alpha Tauri's Daniel Kvyat knows that if he gets it right on Sunday, he's the best and he can fly. And Ferrari Charles Leclerc has explained that he understeered quite a bit, and that is why he made contact with Lance Stroll from the racing point during the Russian Grand Prix. Do you prefer gravel traps or asphalt runoffs? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.